before their fellowship, uh, I was not having a knowledge about how to use the camera and what are the features of a good video. So I thought videos are, are only for men, but through the bulk of movement, they have included women. So I'm happy being one of them. I've also gained other skills, uh, like interviewing skills, how to seek concern from from the community or from the people that I'm going to interview. I didn't know that a, a video must be edited. I just thought that just take a video and send it as raw as it is. But now I know that there are a, a few a few characteristics of a good video. Uh, back in the community, we've been having several meetings and also other activities. This PB would have helped us so much, even to to keep this information for future reference. As part of the video, it's a tool that enables us as a community to explore different issues, could possibly coming up with a solution. So through the young people, they are able to use the camera, they are able to to explore more issues with the help of the Council of Elders in the community. Not only documenting the negative side of the community, but also positive side. I'm working with the community in general, which involves the youth, the elderly, and even the children in mobilization, even teaching them about their rights. This is an indigenous community where, whereby most of them do not know even their rights. It can also encourage women to speak using their mother tongue, they can also help them to express their views, opinions. PV is a great milestone for me and the rest of the women in the community since uh, I think it's a myth that people think that anything to do with videography and any other thing like editing is a men's task. most exciting moment has been uh... Uh, seeing uh, fellows uh, learn and increase their knowledge and skills in using uh, mobile phones uh, to record videos and to document issues in the community. And uh, it has been great to see that issues pertaining to the gay community are now documented by youths from the community. and. Uh, that feels uh, the community owns the product of this work. What I'm so proud of is that young young youth from the community are joining now the group and teaching themselves new skills in order to become community channels. So we will not be able to be relying at all in the media houses. When anything happens or when we have events in our community, we will be able to document ourselves and share our stories the way we wanted it to be heard by people or our audience that we are targeting. We had a meeting with the community in order to bring these people and encourage the youth to take this volunteering work in order to assist in the struggle of our community because they say youth are the leaders of tomorrow, but what I believe is the leadership of youth should have to start now. And by doing this, one way you just giving back to, to the society when they are still young. Uh, I've seen uh, an interest growing among the Ogier community, especially in East Mao, uh, an interest to document issues about land rights, issues about uh, indigenous forests, issues about uh, indigenous knowledge, uh, from the, uh, to document the heroes of the community. And I think, uh, an interest from our young people who are willing to be trained and uh, uh, they are encouraging us to continue with this training so that we can pass the knowledge to other people in the community. The platform that Insight Share has given to us has been important to us. It has been uh, a mind opening in terms of engaging community issues uh, through using a participatory video. Uh, the tools and equipments that we were issued to support our training, they have really helped us because uh, if not for the for inside share support, we could not have acquired some of these equipments. 
is a sustainable, su sustainable kind of a project that needs to be emulated around the world. Because now it's like you don't, you don't go and fish for someone each and every time. If you want the sustainability, you teach him ways on how the skills of fishing. So that is exactly what uh, Inside She has done to us. Like they taught us the skills which are sustainable, especially within the community. Instead of coming and making films and uh, one time films. I'll uh, propose that uh, uh, we, we, we increase more, uh, more support to enable us to train more youth. Uh, to our, so that we, us who have been trained, can can be able to share our skills to uh, and spread our skills to other youths within our community, to spread our skills to other indigenous communities, so that we we have uh, a greater or we improve the level of our advocacy in terms of community issues. Kuron Simon Konana Konin. Otko ngalega pa yche ka ko mag anasagami ko yuto kya. Am gigijaje nga sino ko mag gigijaje nga ito gigilibonin aburi na gilo chyo na gaba gigo chichi ta ko ni kila ni. So ko ko mag ten kini sa kyo na kaya ba nga stimo. Bukan itu kita faham timnya kan? Jauh ruang mereka juga. Ah, tim dana tadi tengah main ni bah ni kan ni bah ini istimewa. Kau saya minta kau bro, kau bro kau ini orang itu nanti tadi nanti ni kan mereka mungkin kau pergi tu mian dah sekian goran ni. Saya itu kau kau tarik sekian ni, ada mami tak tet. Kau main kau ni kau. Kami kita ni mungkin kalau ni kalau nama aja, kita nak mereka pakai kita jaya ni kita juga ti, aina itu apa kita titik mara awun itu sabte itu terok itu, esam ini bo mau, kena kita sojo, kami kurang sihat, kami soye, kita tu cuma kita jaya jogi, aku pun ada kerap ku mereka mungkin barang juga, iskogi sabi juga. Ko ata yung bitu na tayong yan ay tayo ko gigibitu ko gumeg na gigiyam ay aktu ko kan lagi hindi mo ko gigibatim dahil ko gimangay cham dahil gama tu ko kaya yung guluman na tatagon ni hindi ko ko may ko may tuje para ah isko tu ko para tayo gimangay machila ko ko na at kaya yung dinaw yung mong gimangum yung dinaw ko yung bitu na tayong yun Kami kami tu kesri kian normal eh, okay ni orang yang main gitu, eh, artinya eleven years. Kami nampak bangku tu macam ni, kubu kubu ni ada ni kau lenjau di atas ni juga, si tiada juga si gue gitu. Kami amu chan, ada ke kami tempat tu no. Kau segemi ketinya segemi kori sumuk. Tinja segan mikir sabule ni ke tinja cebiri ni, orang kau ni alai cemo indah ke? Kau dah nane, dah mu bagi sku ke nage kita gitu, timur. Ingat macam kau mungkin yang nak mai ke nasi segan ni, kau beri dengan lega tim tu. Am sku kima mi top tu, kima mi tim dana singo, kija je ne. So kau kau nak ke nene segan ni kan? This is the melee in our own language. I've chosen this item because it has a meaning to us as a community. This one, when it grows around the home state, it's just the source of wealth. Somebody cannot even be 
having a poverty in the future days. So it grows where the animal are, and the smaller one, you can chop it from here, and then you can use a vegetable. And also, if someone is having a problem with high blood pressure, you can use it. Also, if you have a heart bath, you can use it because it is free from acids. This also is used as to perform ceremony during initiation days. So it is important that we we do not live where this one does not grow. So it is important because it has several meanings in our community. Kipakenge. Kipakenge means unity. And the unity of us in our community is more important to all of us as a community. Uh, unity makes us to strengthen, uh, to strengthen our cohesion as a community. It helps us in expressing our ideas, our grievances, and also challenges that we face in our uh, day-to-day activities. Also, in our struggles, when we come as one and have a unity, we will have more and easier way of expressing our issues. To my community, let's have a unity of our past, unity that we that will form us as one. I'm Jacinta Rotigan having a traditional folk tale titled The Magic Bone. Long, long time ago, there was a big forest called the Mau Forest. Inside the Mau Forest, there was a mountain called the Logoma Mountains. In the, mount, in the forest, they lived a witch doctor called Kagera and his daughter called Kawawa. And so Kagera knew the forest very well. He had a daughter called Kawawa, and he loved his daughter because he was the youngest of his children. Kawawa, one day, as his, as his usual thing, Kagera used to go to the forest and search for food for his lovely daughter. One day, as he bid goodbye to his daughter, he, he always leave his daughter in the Logomo Mountains so that his daughter can be safe and he can view him all the time. He went down the cliff looking for food for his daughter. So when Kagera went to look for food, Kawawa saw a, a lizard. He picked a stone and threw it at the lizard. But he, he did not hit the lizard, he missed it. And then the stone fell to the other side of the cliff and it fell on a, a ground where when, when it fell on the ground, the ground opened and there was a gigantic creature called Punyot living inside it. And when it was disturbed, it's, he, he was angry and he raised up his eyes and saw who had disturbed him from his sleep. He saw Kawawa beside the cliff and he, he wanted to pick him with his long, long hand. But when Kagera down the valley saw what his daughter was doing or what the gigantic creature wanted to do, Kagera picked his magic bone and pointed it at his daughter. His daughter Kawawa turned into a stone. And when the gigantic creature called Punyot saw what Kagera had done, he wanted, he ran after Kagera. He ran and ran and ran. Kagera ran until he found a blocked, he found blocked trees where he could not pass through. So Kagera took his stone and changed himself into a liar bird. And when Kagera changed himself into a liar bird, he flew over the trees and he, he snaked away. But when he was turning himself, the bone fell off. And when the gigantic creature saw what Kagera had done, he, he went back to his sleep and slept. And Kagera came back, took his one, uh, Kagera came back and searched for his bone. 
He searched for his bone, but it was nowhere to be found. Now, Kagera became the liar bird, and his daughter became the stone in the Mao forest. From this story, we learn the moral lesson that all forests are beautiful, but you cannot live inside it when you don't know all the flora and fauna inside the forest. And so the, us as the Oge, we live inside the forest because we are well informed and we all know all the floras and faunas in the forest. I'm um, Elias Kimayo from Sengweri Indigenous Community. Sengweri Indigenous Community are community who are living in Embobed Forest. And others are scattered in other three counties of Elgeo Marakwet and West Bogot. So Embobed Forest is ancestral land to Sengweri people. Sengweri of Embobed have lived in uh, this land since time memorial until 1954, whereby the government started cassetting their land uh, without the prior knowledge or, con or consent for Sanguari members, which led to more struggle, more evictions in, in this land. And uh, they have faced several challenges in terms of uh, social life, political and uh, economic uh, aspect also. Uh, we see this as a great challenge to our community. Therefore, we are uh, sensitizing our members to come together so that we have unity to fight for our rights. Despite the challenges that we go through as a community, such as oppression, victimization, eviction, and human rights violations such as killings and torture. We cannot leave our precious land, our precious home, because we have the traditional knowledge on how to guard it. Because we have the ancestral attachment, spiritual attachment, and we cannot do without forest. Tribal court as a distinct tribe in Kenya. Any funding? that funds the conservation. We should be included as a custodian of the forest to make decision on what should be done and not what should not be done. So it should be inclusive, not that government can take control of the forest instead of us. We need to be given the mandate to use our indigenous knowledge on conservation. In our indigenous knowledge, we have our phylos that will govern us in taking care of our forest cover whereby we have animal grazing uh, regulations we have uh, settlement regulations at the same time we have a fee keeping areas and handling and gathering areas <laughs> Hi,